Hola amigos, Dr. Lebruniki. Today, I'm going to teach you 50 vocabulary terms that you need to know to be successful on the Spanish Praxis exam. Number 50, or cincuenta, exigir, to require. El archivo, the file. Redactar, to write. Asegurarse, to assure oneself. Fijarse, to focus on. Numero 45. Suceder, to happen, to occur. Ingresar, to join. De acuerdo, in agreement. La falta de, the lack of. Que lastima, what a shame. Numero 40. Enfrentar, to confront. La escasez, the scarcity. Solicitar, to request or solicit. Reclutar, to recruit. Dirigirse, to address, to talk to. Trenta cinco, subrayar, to underline, point out. La jubilación, the retirement. El portavoz, la portavoz, the speaker. La tasa, the rate. La cifra, the figure, the number. Numero treinta, el promedio, the average. Aumentar, to increase. La edad, the age, and bejecer, to age, I K, one has to, you have to. Veinticinco, tratar, to deal with, to try. Desenlace, the ending. El medio ambiente, the environment. El desafío, the challenge. La ventaja, the advantage. Numero 20, el papel, the roll, or paper. Ambos, both. Desarrollar, to develop. Según, according to. Soler, to usually do something. In the present tense, it's going to be a stem changer and conjugated as suele for the third person singular form. And it can only be used in the imperfect in the past tense, such as solía and does not exist in the preterite tense. Promover, promover, to promote. La venta, the sale of. La entrevista, the interview. Involucrar, to involve. La grabación, the recording. Numero 10, recaudar fondos, to raise funds. La tabla, the table, or graph. Mejorar to improve, destacar, to point out, la fuente, the source, or the fountain, elegir, to choose. All right, numero cuatro, el propósito, the purpose, atentamente, sincerely, querido or querida, dear, if I'm writing a letter to a friend or family member. If I'm writing it to somebody formal, I want to use estimado or estimada, which means esteemed, but could also translate as dear. And our last one, la niñez, the childhood. And I appreciate you sticking around to the end of my video. So I've got a couple of bonus words here for you as well. La beca, the scholarship, and como no, of course, or how could it be no? This one's a little bit tricky because oftentimes people see the word no and think it's a negation or a negative phrase, but it's actually the opposite of that. It's an affirmative phrase, but it's got no in it. So it's a little bit tricky, but como no, of course. And you think of it as how could it be no? And so it'd have to be yes. All right, so thanks for watching. And I'm also going to include a Quizlet in the description below, in the comment section below, where you can practice these terms. So that was lesson five, essential vocabulary for the Spanish Praxis exam. And stay tuned for lesson number six. I'm gonna give you 10 exam tips to help you be successful on the Spanish Praxis exam. All right, gracias por mirar. This is Learning Spanish with Dr. L. Go ahead, click that subscribe button. It's going to give you free access to all my videos. All right, gracias por mirar. Buena suerte en el examen de praxis. Chao. Adios.